No. <coughs> I tried to put that off. I tried to suppress it. I couldn't hold it in. Terrible things happen when you try to hold things in. Have you ever seen like extreme weightlifting competitions? It's terrible. <coughs> Hope you're fair and wear today. Fair and wear, wearing fair. I just already took got my hot shower in today. A hot shower. It might not be the only one. Uh, too much, not enough. I'm very ill prepared for this. Took me a while to simmer down. I got all I, I got all fired up because I got I was having a good shower and everything was good and then you know every now and again freaking ben, Benzo will start yapping when I'm in there because he just gets worked up because something will happen on the TV or something so I don't think too much of it but when I get out of the shower and they're all outside the door worked up then I'm like all right and I have never done this I've lived in this place almost two years and I've never gone outside in a towel but I was like all right they're all up I don't they need to go outside, so I let them out, and then there's two, you know, and there's two men knocking on my door, and they have fucking books and leather, like it's some fucking evasion waiver. This is why I think your fucking organized religion is stupid. If I want to know what your fucking, what you believe is all about, I will go to where you are, and I will find out myself. Do not fucking come into my home. Don't. This is my space where all are welcome. My home is my sanctuary and it's my fortress. And no, not all are welcome here. Nope. The police have been here. I didn't ask them to come. It's weird who thinks that they can come onto my, my space to be evasive. See, and if this offends you, that's fine because your fucking religion made me a scared self-loathing little child because women were pretty and I loved women and I knew that longer before freaking men stopped freaking playing with their wieners long enough to <laughs> notice that women are cute um I was way ahead of the game in that respect anyway it's your fucking religion that made me hate myself because you told me that God hated people like me so fuck your religion and don't come to my house and as they're walking away I'm in a towel and and they're like oh I'm like hey <laughs> you know I already know the word of God I got some words for you do not disturb you are disruptive and then they went on to go disrupt somebody else you don't go into somebody's house to try and change their mind that is why this whole paradigm of this fucking masculine idea is dying and people are fucking marching all over the I don't know all over the planet I guess I keep seeing marching stuff I used to march and praised I was late for a parade one time because I got in big trouble it was a veterans day parade I learned my lesson kinda um I did that I did learn my lesson and I you know some and when I say kinda is mean sometimes I'm slow and it takes me sometimes to, I, to learn the same lesson over and over because we're all just you know secular humans or spirits we're all duped into patterns and what we're attracted to anyway that's why I think your fucking religion is stupid your organized religion your organized religion People are, oh, she, you know, and I love that paradigm, that the, the one that says, oh, she hates men. She's just one of those man-hating lesbians. Well, I gotta tell you, there are some men that I love. Most men aren't worth any, aren't, most men aren't worth loving. See, I recognize the vibration in other things. I namaste your stay. I see who you for who you are and I want to know you and engage with you. If you ain't worth a fucking piss, I don't care what gender you are, male, female, recognize like myself. I'm energetic, nearly andron androgynous in a female soul sack. I'm a woman that likes to build things and get dirty and Yep. You can put me in whatever little box that you want. 
Um, it's rad to see people standing up and, and, and believing in stuff. It is. It's good to see people uniting. Because we're fucking tired of it. We're tired of how things are because you guys fucking have told us forever what we need to think. Once a year, believe in a man that comes down on a fucking chimney, and if you're good, he'll give you shit. Well, guess what? This little kid thought I was bad for a long time because there wasn't anything there. If you are questioning, if you're at a place, a point in your life where you were wavering on that tipping point, of going by your course, your point zero, living your life how you want to live, regardless of what anybody else thinks. And that place where you're just going to keep getting up, paying your student loans, because that's what people do, and don't question anything, because just that's how things have always been. If you're at that balance point, choose your direction. Choose for you. That other way, it's a fucking lie. So. Alright, now that I've said all that. Seems like it's been longer, but my freaking head hurts in this region. So I'm going to go concentrate on that. Absolve that freaking blockage. So I hope you all have a rad day. Saturday. Is it Saturday? It is Saturday. The 24th of March. Enjoy your day. Be well.